Boston is such a foodie town. There's so many good restaurants, it's often hard to pick the best stuff, right? So, food blogger Scott Wink from charlestonfoodbloggers.com is here today to lead us in the right direction. He has the best new eats in Charleston for 2015, and he also brought us this deliciousness that's sitting on the table. I can't chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> we're going to talk right. about that in a second. But Scott, we're so excited to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. You are like the most followed food blogger in South Carolina. Um, and just became the whole South, so it's growing yeah. fast. We have to mention, if you try to find his website right now, it actually crashed yesterday <laughs> because you had so much traffic. Yeah, right? the traffic has been overwhelming. Every time I post something like this, people love it and want it, and you know, um, traffic is great. Too. So thank everybody out there for Yeah, so you go around, I mean, food blogger, how do I get that job? You go around to all these different restaurants, how did you pick like the best new eats in Charleston? I imagine that'd be tough to choose. It's very hard. I, I tend to go by a couple of criteria: mm -hmm. um, taste, quality, and then I also do experience. So the, okay. the you know is it scenic? Is, is are the, the people nice? Right. Mm -hmm. And and is it unique or fun? Mm -hmm. You know, I think that part is uh, should play a big role too. Okay. So we have a couple of your top picks. Number one, um, I want you to tell us about Nana's Seafood and Soul. Ooh, okay. That's um, oh my gosh. Yeah, so you see those um, garlic crabs in that photo right there, and it's just this little hole in the wall on Lime Street downtown. I haven't even been there, yeah. Most people don't know it's there, and they should, and I'm making it a point to get everybody to go yeah. try it, because they do some of the most amazing soul food, and there's not many of those soul food places left in town that Charleston is, you know, culturally famous mm -hmm. for, and so they do those garlic crabs, they do garlic shrimp, they do oxtail stew. Oxtail stew? Yes, it's just, I mean, yeah. it's amazing. They're so cooking it all day long, and you can taste the, the quality. And, and I was good. asking, you have small kids, but you said a lot of times you go out to eat at lunch by yourself, because sometimes it's hard to do all this. Right, I, I, know I couldn't take kid. a two-year-old to eat those garlic crabs. So you so take you your know. lunch break by yourself. Exactly. All right, so number, this is one of my favorite places, Tavern and Table. What do they have that's your favorite? Um, I really like that um, chimichurri salad there. Oh. And um, so you mix something as beautiful and delicious as that salad and light for a nice lunch with the setting of Shim Creek and mm -hmm. you know the dolphins swimming by while you're eating that your does, lunch. That certainly helps. Talk about a relaxing lunch for your yeah. work day. That is the place yeah. to, and to enjoy And it's so beautiful yourself. inside. So that's one of your second picks. Also, um, the Daily. This is, I obviously need to get out more. I haven't been here. The Daily, what do they have? Sure, the Daily, um, they're owned by the butcher and the, the bee owner. So they, they open this other location called the Daily right next door to it. Okay. And they specialize in these breakfast juices and, and sandwiches. And this mm -hmm. one on the screen is an English muffin, Canadian bacon, a fried egg, pimento wow. cheese. And then some. <laughs> it some, wouldn't be sounded without the pimento right, cheese. Some smoked onion jam. Oh my gosh. So. You're just here to torment us. <laughs> Totally. I would have brought that one in, but I, I'm watching out for Tom's waistline. So oh, we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, and this has been sitting in front of us. This chocolate and peanut butter Yo. deliciousness. What is this? This was a fantastic find. Um, Can I take a bite? Like, you just keep talking. Yeah, you go for it. Um, so it's called a peanut butter chocolate explosion, and they they have this at Carmela's. It's a new dessert bar on East Bay Street downtown. So it's a perfect location for you to, to go to dinner and then to, to just wander over to East Bay to this place in this old nice Charleston house right next door to the uh, Customs House and okay. enjoy a dessert like, like this. It's uh, peanut butter mousse in the middle. That's the peanut butter part. And you then just keep talking about that. <laughs> the bottom is a, a brownie and then like... in between is layers of chocolate cake and then on top they put hot fudge and there's peanut butter chips and so you get lots of textures and a lot of, of sweet um, I feel like I need a big glass of milk. It was rich, it was delicious. Yeah, it's enough to share. So you could get one of these with a couple friends, cut it up and... and yeah, I told you, it's an extra fork. It's got me dig in. Oh, he stole your fork. You're done. You got it, so... What is it? Because I've chopped it all over. <laughs> About the Charleston food scene. I mean, it's just exploded recently. The Wine and Food Festival. Why is Charleston such a hot spot? You know, we've been fortunate to have some very visionary chefs mm -hmm. and some business owners in town that just really believed in in the culture and in the people, and the, the residents just respond, and we mm -hmm. go, and then we talk about it, and then everyone wants to come and visit us, mm -hmm. and it just yeah, When traffic spirals. gets really busy, I get really mad about it sometimes. <laughs> it's a little it's bit frustrating. It's not how good Charleston is. <laughs> yeah, it's a little frustrating, but it keeps bringing new restaurants okay. like this, so um, as long as we keep growing and getting food like this, 
Bring it on. We are so lucky to live here. And you make us realize that. And really quickly, how can people find you once your website is up and running? Sure. Once we're back up this yeah. week, um, the easiest way to follow us is on Instagram or on Twitter or Facebook, so social okay. media. And then, um, so Charles is the blogger on Instagram. So <laughs> there you go. He's like our new best friend now. I like the words you use. The, 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 the inspirational chefs, the guys, the, the guys and the ladies that just yeah. go beyond what is the norm. Right. And then it just, I call it just absolutely stupid food because it's just gone so far and it's just ridiculously good. All sorts of flavors, just it's the it's the nation flavors. Uh, flavors just going all over. Yeah, so well, we are running out of time, but I can sit here and talk to you all day. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank sure. you so much for kind of cluing us in on what's hot, and uh, we'll have much more right here on Low Country Live right after the break. Seriously, take a break.